Okay, so hello everyone. Uh, today we'll talk a bit about uh, two new additions to Vesta panels. Uh, aside from the one uh, that we already have, there will be two new panels uh, coming soon. So we'll talk a bit about them. Okay, so how do I get rid of this? Okay, there we go. Okay, so we'll talk a bit about spe uh, technical specifications, uh, what they can do, how to program them, and uh, what we can integrate onto them, uh, about the management platform, and, uh, well, we might compare them to some other panels. What do you think, Ashraf? Should we do the comparison or we just skip that part? Yeah, I think I think the last point we can uh, we can ignore it. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So uh, same with the previous panel, we got the security side of the panel and the automation side of the panel. There's also uh, senior care uh, panels, uh, the medical uh, Vesta panels. And uh, I believe we'll talk a bit about uh, the analogs as well. So these are locks that can be integrated together with the panel. Yes, correct. Okay, so this is the panel that we currently uh, are promoting and selling, uh, HSGW, uh, which most people already know. They uh, support 160 zones with uh, F1 uh, frequency. They have a Z-Wave incorporated, and we have a couple of different models uh, ranging from 2G to 4G, and uh, Ethernet integrated, of course. So this is one of the first panels we have. Uh, it's a hybrid panel, so it basically mixes uh, wire zones with wireless zones. Um, without any expansions, the uh, panel can support 16 wire zones, and uh, Ashraf with uh, expanders, right? Yeah. We can yeah. have more. Up yeah, to we 64? Have... Yeah, no, up to 160 in this case. Okay. We can put more okay. expanders. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And the next panel is the autonomous battery power, completely battery powered panel, mm -hmm. uh, which I guess can be used in many applications. I, one of them could be uh, like on a boat, for example, or. Uh, even a truck. So this one has 50 zones. Um, you can see the duration of batteries is approximately one and a half year. Uh, we got uh, 2G and 4G models, if I'm not wrong. Uh, siren built in, as well as the uh, keyboard. Okay, so uh, as the old same as the old uh, Vesta panels, this one works with F1 uh, uh, frequency, which is uh, approximated to two kilometers in open field. Um, batteries are long lasting, and for each device, you can uh, see how 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 long they would uh, last uh, on the on the website on bydems.com. Okay. A lot of customers ask about how long uh, do the batteries last for each device. So that's it. So automation devices work with Z-Wave. Uh, it's a mesh network system which offers uh, low energy consumption and the uh, range goes between 100 and 200 meters. So I believe that would be uh, depending on how many walls and in the house and what uh, type of walls and so on. Uh, it's a closed protocol. So this is how, well, this is a, basically showing a mesh configuration, how it would uh, look with uh, different devices. So you got the panel and different uh, automation devices. Okay, so these are the old panels. So I think I'm just gonna skip them. Uh, I, 3G model is not here, but we also have a 3G model. Okay, so the the panel can be programmed uh, in in different ways, but uh, one of them and uh, recommended one would be through web interface. 
So uh, we got the Smart Home Sec website where you can create uh, your account, add your first panel, and uh, program all the security side of the panel and automation as well. There's also a free app called Smart Home Sec, which could be downloaded from from uh, Play Store and Ashraf uh, on App Store as well for iPhones. Correct. Correct. Okay. And uh, panel can also be programmed locally. So that would be done through how exactly? Uh, by the cable, we have RG45 uh, ports on uh, the panel. Okay. We can plug directly to our computer and uh, we can access to a web browser uh, to this local IP. And okay. we can access to all the configurations. Okay, and pan the panel can be updated this way and uh, so on. Correct. Okay. Okay, so we got the 2G model of hybrid panels, a panel which, uh, well, you can see the specifications here, but some of them are, uh, it allows for four uh, wired keypads, uh, 80 users, uh, as I said before, 160 zones, and these are the allowed uh, wired uh, resistors. So you got 1K, uh, 4.7K, and so on. It has one PGM output, and Okay, it's also showing uh, which batteries are uh, compatible with the panel and their approximate duration. We also got the 4G uh, version of panel. So uh, if you need uh, faster uh, transfer speeds, you will go with 4G and 4G SIM cards. And uh, 4G hybrid full, uh, what exactly what do we get with this on a Wi-Fi expander? Expander, right? Correct. We have uh, the Wi-Fi model integrated on the panel, and also we have the Z-Wave protocol integrated. And uh, this okay. is a unique difference between uh, the other one. Okay. 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 So this is a close-up look at the insides of the panel. So you got um, you got the zones, uh, entries, outputs. Uh, you got. Uh, you got uh, the output for siren and relays. You also got the power supply area, and you got the room for for internal battery, which was definitely not the case with the previous panel. And uh, also uh, some other basic things are shown here, like uh, power supply and uh, where the SIM card slot is, and GPRS antenna, and so on. Uh, now, one thing I, I'm not sure about with this panel, Ashraf will, will probably know yeah. the power supply. It's so uh, transformer is uh, is, yeah. is on, this outside. is just a, yeah no this is just a sample and uh, I put 16 volts 18 volts but uh, this uh, really will be 230 volts direct input. Okay, we'll have a big transformer here to uh, to power uh, the panel. Okay, so in, uh, transformer is inside the panel. Inside the panel, correct, correct. Okay. Okay, so this is what actually a lot of customers ask me. Uh, they want to be able to power the panel through the spur, and uh, yeah, they can put spur like a, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, like a like a box with with uh, instead of the plug. Yeah, this... uh, just put uh, two screws uh, with the wires, and that's yeah. all. you mean yeah. that, right? Yeah, we'll be yeah. like that. We'll be like like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, so different zone wirings. Should I even uh, go through this? I, I think there's no need. Uh, I mean, people can see for themselves. Okay, so programming of the hybrid panel is pretty much done the same way as with the previous model. So you got the web interface and you got the local programming can, that can be done through the cable. And you also got the same support with the Smart Home Sec app. Now regarding the autonomous battery powered panels, so we got two models, 2G and 4G, uh, same, uh, they work with same frequency, which is approximate uh, two kilometer in open field. Uh, so it allows 50 wireless zones. It also has a little LCD uh, screen to display different statuses. Um, yeah, approximately 1.5 years of uh, 
of uh, autonomy of, of work and up to six users. Uh, now, Ashraf, what about the, the areas, the, the partitions with this one? Yeah, with this one, it's very simple. We have just one uh, one partition, and in this partition, okay. we have 15 zones, 50 zones, and the okay. Zones. Okay, for I believe for this type of panel, it's it's, it's definitely enough. And we also got the quite loud uh, siren integrated. I believe it's around same uh, as the last one, and last one is very loud. And certificate of grade two. Okay, so so programming, uh, I also mentioned this, but okay, so this one can be programmed with the with the keyboard, uh, with the help of the the screen, of course, right. and uh, same with the web interface uh, and by SMS commands. But I believe the last one had the same uh, way of programming through SMS. If if anyone needs this type of programming, they can do it like that. Yeah, and uh, we recommend, uh, we highly recommend uh, using the installer app because it's mm -hmm. really simple. It's the same like the other panels. And yeah. In 10 minutes, you have uh, all the panel uh, programming. So it's yeah, like, it know, definitely is quite simple and uh, yeah. intuitive, I'd say. Okay, so. Okay, so all the, all the panels, are, panels are using same web platform and. Uh, same uh, network, same background. And this is how the web interface uh, looks. So it's uh, just navigate to smarthomesec.bydemos.com and this is the starting screen that would uh, greet you. Uh, well, we got different languages. This one is shown is Spanish. So you got, uh, you got uh, well, it's not shown here, but you got the user side and uh installer side of, of things so on the on the user side you would add your first panel and uh, each user can have i we talked about this around what two i think we will say we talked uh, around 200 panels per user right yes correct okay and then uh, on the installer side there's no limit at this no point li no limits no limits okay. for installers okay 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 uh, well, a show of uh, different sensors. So, so if I'm not mistaken, all the sensors, all the devices that would work with the previous panel would, would work with this one as well, right? Yes, uh, all the okay. panels work on F1 frequency mm -hmm. and all these devices are F1 frequency. So uh, all the devices are uh, compatible with any panel you use. Also, okay. the, the peer camps, you can use the peer camps for uh, the battery operated, for the hybrid, and for the first panel, the radio panels. Okay, sounds great. So, uh, without me going into each device specifically, we got a wide range of devices. We got different, uh, different combinations of, uh, for example, magnetic contacts. We got, uh, we got my vibration detector. Uh, plus a uh, magnetic sensor uh, in one. Then we got uh, glass, glass, uh, sorry, glass break detector and what was it? Vibration detector. So we got different combinations for different needs. And we also got uh, different versions of uh, magnetic sensors. Like we got slim ones, we got recessed ones that go into doors, windows, and we got different types of uh, motion sensors, ceiling ones, uh, outdoor, indoor, camera PIRs. Okay, and uh, what this is showing that, uh, for example, a motion sensor can be set in uh, different ways. And of course, it, it can have basic functions like uh, it, it can be designed, uh, assigned to start an entry delay, Usually this will be done with a magnetic contact on the door, but yeah, you can uh, specify different responses to different devices. Okay, and automation. So, okay, so if, for example, you what you open the door and you can trigger a certain automation, so uh, you can trigger that what the light uh, turns on if you if you trigger the motion sensor, motion uh, movement, right? 
correct yes okay so th there's quite a large number of different uh, scenes that you can set and the rules that you can apply you can apply any scene you want uh, and uh, for example the same example that you did you can you can trigger a light if you yeah. want with the yeah. same projector okay then we've got different types of smoke and co detectors and different combinations as well and uh, i can see here that this keypad the first one that's a new one i didn't see this one before right so we got some additions with uh, with uh, devices as well uh, what yes. about this Sasha of LCD remote keeper? This is a new yeah. keypad as well. So it looks. Yeah, th this is a new keypad for uh, the hybrid panel. This is a wired uh, keypad. It's, okay. Uh, it can be wired directly to the hybrid panel by the boot's uh, port. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have all the information on the LCD screen, like, for example, the status of the system. And also you can uh, you can arm, disarm, and also you have a siren uh, inside this uh, same keypad. Okay, looks looks good. Looks uh, quite uh, similar to the panel. Yes, and also it has a, a radio system. It works NF1, so if you don't want to wire it, you can use it like a radio a radio cable. Ah, okay, sounds good. Yeah, sounds great. Okay, and we also have uh, different outdoor and indoor sirens. So. Uh, Panels usually integrate indoor siren, but you can also have it as a as a extension device as well. We got uh, panic buttons, repeaters that can be chained together, and the shock and vibration that I mentioned. Okay, so Vesta repeaters. So a repeater, each repeater supports uh, sixty devices, including the other repeaters, and uh, up to eight camera PRs. So the, uh, basically, uh, each each repeater can be chained to the last one, so they can they can create chains between between them and the panel. So it doesn't have to go like uh, like from from a panel to a certain repeater. They can all be chained together, which uh, improves the the communication. I'd say. Okay, so so different types of uh, coverages are shown in these uh, schematics. Okay, what uh, what would you say about this uh, slide, uh, Ashraf? Is there any special meaning yes. to it, or just? Uh... Yeah, this is a new some new products that we that we that we have. Uh, okay, I put uh, them here to specify a, a little bit. So on the next uh, next pages, you can you can you can see the some uh -huh. some uses of uh, these devices. Oh, okay. Yeah, like this relay. I put some uh, some examples of using like uh, Shema. Okay. If you click on next, you will yeah. Ah, I see. Okay, so it can operate operate one of the um, one of the electrical jumpers. So you can turn off power, turn on, and so on. Also, the lights you can operate the lights with it. So this relay would be connected with the panel uh, with wires, correct? Uh, no, to the panel it's uh, by Z-Wave. Oh, Z-Wave, yeah, sorry. Device, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, and uh, by the device, uh, you can just wire your device and uh, it can support uh, up to 10 amps uh, okay. of loads. And uh, so it's very powerful, this device. Okay. Okay, we also have some different automation sensors. Uh, we got uh, different, I know we have quite a lot of these different uh, scenery uh, switches. Okay, relay controllers for metering, dimming uh, lights, appliance control, light sensors for temperature and humidity. We also got occupancy sensors, so if you, I don't know, if you walk in the room, you can... Uh, Turn the light on, or uh, it can also be a PAR. I know one of them uh, had a like a PAR integrated. Yes. Air quality sensors and water leakage sensors. So quite a lot of uh, different automation, multifunctional sensors for Vesta. Uh, we also have these locks, Danalo called Danalocks. Uh, they can be used for opening doors, closing doors. 
uh, via the Vesta app or web interface. Okay, so you can also see the, the door status with uh, with Danalog. Yeah, you can uh, see, yes, you can see the, the, the status and the, the most important thing uh, of Danalog is uh, that you can adapt it on your uh, existing cylinder. So uh, this is an universal uh, uh, door lock. Okay. This is, this is important because you can, you, you can put it on any cylinder you want. Okay. And there's also integration with uh, the Hua cameras. So you can, uh, you can, uh, well, you can chain them with the system. So, for example, if you have some kind of alarm in the house, you can uh, receive 15 seconds of video recording, for example. And the important thing to say is uh, this re video recording would be stored on a SD card on the camera. Um, so, and also uh, some different appliances. If if you press a panic button, uh, you can get a you can get this notification uh, together with with for example, 15 seconds of video. You can also request photo or video at any time. And the uh, important thing to say is that the compatibility and the integration is done with the cameras of uh, release date 2019 and above, and IMO cameras. Okay. Okay, what would you say about this, Ashraf? No, this platform I prefer to not comment. Uh, okay. About okay. It. So we'll just yes. keep that yeah. on. And these are some comparisons that uh, we can skip as well. Yes. So thank you for your attention. Uh, this is this was a brief uh, introduction to panels. If if there's any other questions, you can always email me or uh, yeah, send me a message or uh, call me directly, and uh, I'll explain what I can. No problem. Uh, any questions? Well, considering we have Ronnie here, so maybe Ronnie has some kind of question for us. <laughs> or no questions. 